guys, so we're out here uh, early summer and it's a hot and sunny day, high cloud and an unfortunate wind that we're gonna have to contend with as we get our flies into tight structure, hey? Yeah, it just keeps kind of funneling down through this whole sort of spruce line here. And yeah, we'll we'll, we'll try to master it as best <laughs> we can, right? But the spruce are our friend. Um, yes. The caddis are hatching and only in shaded bits. Um, it's, it's simultaneous hatching and I think later this afternoon we'll end up with some egg laying. Yes, and that's really the only places that we've seen the actual rises today. Anywhere where it's like brilliant sun on the water those fish don't want to come up in those yeah just those standing places. on the bridge looking yeah. down it's like okay there's a fish there's a fish there's a yes. fish what do all three of those have in common shade yes. shadow so we're gonna focus on that today we're gonna work our way through a meandering um, deep kind of central Alberta tannic stream and we're gonna go after some nice browns I, I you know I bet you some of them push 22 24 inches oh yeah I mean I bet they do we we know we've experienced that in the past <laughs> yeah. years of coming to fish this piece of water so it is exciting to us um, it's a wonderful Wonderful, beautiful river. So hey, come along for the ride guys. So we've got a fish here that's rising. We've just seen it rise a couple times and uh, it's just upstream of us, actually about five feet upstream of a little beaver run that comes in on the opposite bank from where we're standing. And the interesting part is that uh, when you're filming, hard contrasts are really difficult and that's what Dave's going through right now. Um, you know, he's got the long lens and he's trying to pick up that fish, but we're in high, high sun, bright sun, and this fish is in complete shade. So what I've decided to do is uh, fish the water above these sticks. Just sliding into the river now, but fish the water above these sticks. Um, that's the beaver run I was talking about on camera. Um, where the fish have been rising, but we're not entirely sure where he is. So for me to fish just a foot off the bank is kind of the way to go right now. There we are. Yeah, you're about two feet shy. Okay. Have you seen the other one rise lately? No. There he went just now. I heard it, but I couldn't see it to be so honest. So how much further up from me? Oh, okay. The first one or the top one? Okay. Okay, so we just seen this fish rise again here and I'm gonna try to get my cast in that same line. Here we go. That should do it. Yeah, nice. <laughs> awesome, eh? Right on, man. Yeah, it's it's helpful when you see that rise versus <laughs> just the prospecting because you get a. I, I it really helps me to have a, a target. You know, we've done a lot of sight fishing through the years where you see the fish, and obviously in this case too, we've done a lot of fishing to hatches and. And uh, it's a better fish, Dave. Yeah, it's really nice. And um, yeah, that's awesome. Oh yeah. <laughs> Moment I tried to bring him to the surface, he just said no and did a little tail walk. I like that. Okay, come on, sideways pressure mills. And head up, will you let me? Not quite. Come on, just that same. They, they love the depths in this particular creek and they love to use them to their advantage. Come on, up. Wow, yeah, it's just a good fish, heavy fish. He'll come when he's ready. Okay, come on, here we go, here we go. Yeah, I know, yeah, I know. Trying to keep it away from those sticks. Okay, come on. Come on, come on, Mills. Up, 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 and in the net. Yeah, yeah, what a great fish. Hell yeah, man, what a way to start the day. I'm thrilled. Yeah, so just a beautiful fish, guys. Look at that blue spot. And yeah, probably, I'm saying close to 23. It's just long, long fish. 
Beautiful. Look at those red spots. Hope you guys can see them. Just stunning. Look at and that. And just let it slide down and then slide it Just down. a long fish. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Oh, thank you, buddy. Oh, yeah. So good. So that was a fish I really enjoyed. Um, you know, it was a situation where I was playing a little bit coy with that bank. I had gotten hung up on the branches once and I just said, yeah, I needed to get closer. But Dave just said, hey Mills, go at it. He encouraged me, just go at it. And of course, the moment I saw the rise, I had that target and yeah, just get the cast out and he just sucked it in almost immediately. And yeah, absolutely, really enjoyed that one. What a beautiful, beautiful fish for its red spots and that blue dot on its cheek. Yeah. Mm. That was a good fish, love. Okay, so I've got a couple fish just above this clump of sloughed dirt and grass up ahead here. Um, I wouldn't put them, either one of them, over a, over a foot. Got to watch out for that. So I'm just going to lay it out. And there's a caddis popping in there. That should see somebody to come up, maybe. Wind picked up and the fish quit rising. Funny how that works, eh? That should be right on him. Yep. <laughs> That's awesome. That's funny though how that works. Yeah, he took the little one again in the back, eh? Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, 10 inches or so. Nice little girl. Yeah, took that little trailing polywing caddis there. Awesome. Look at. So as I walk, um, obviously you're going to be doing this real slow. You want to try to make sure that you don't stop too long in the sun, but you don't run to get out of the sun. You just got to do slow, methodical walking. And to be honest with you, I'm 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 really looking up this shoreline here. There's a there's one little guy rising about 22 yards upstream. But then, you know, last year's high water absolutely shaved the shoulders off that other side, right on the, along the water's edge. You can just see that absolute rip zone. And along there are all sorts of clay and, and, and silty kind of edges. And it's kind of at an angle like that, and then it comes out. And all along that, as we go up, you know, I look at that willow there, I'm looking all, all around. I'm just making sure there's no yellow tail, gold flagging um, motion, movement, green head. Just looking for any waves. That's why I actually we stopped here for about two minutes just looking. There's a little wave coming off a stick over there. And I thought that might be a dimple of a 18, 19 inch fish, but no. So we're going to keep going and eyes short, but really looking on that outturn um, anywhere around structure anything that causes a backup, a slowdown, or a cut along structure. And that's where you're really gonna look, you're looking for rising browns, eating caddis. All right, so <laughs> as is always the case on this creek, uh, the fish are always tucked in and it's just a joy to take it on and try to figure out a way to get your fly in there. And across, right in line with that, there's a, a that light colored spruce, uh, stem in there. He just rose literally six inches from the base of that. So I've got overhanging branches about five or six feet in front of that that I have to get my fly. I think obviously I'm going to get down, out, in and try to sidearm chop a cast and try to get it to turn over and drift right down along that uh, underneath all those boughs at the base of that tree. And well we'll go for it see what happens you know see if we can get a take from this guy. Alrighty, step one, get in the water. <laughs> so again, that's that, there he just went. Oh, it's actually a gorgeous fish. Just in time to cast into a headwind. Wicked. That's what we're looking for. Up, pause, up, pause, place. Now, do that with a 14, 15 foot leader. Get it. Your half back cast has to be above the, the, the grass over here and your front cast has to be underneath those boughs over there. Always fun, always fun. So how are we gonna do this? With a headwind, <laughs> long leader, <laughs> double dry fly. 
All good stuff, right? You see him, love? Yeah, I sure do. Is he right at the base there, hey? Still right at the base. Yeah. Okay. I just saw his gold bar. I have to wait for that wind. It's kind of coming in puffs. Yeah. I think my window is through there, so. That's just a gentle cast. Did he come out? I'd love to see him right now. No. No, there he is. He's against that. Here we go. Okay, here's my hole. Right there. He refused it. No, he did. You're so right. He refused my small little caddis. Wow, I didn't see that coming. No, me neither. That's crazy, hey? He's still over there, isn't he? Okay, he's going to rise. He's going to eat that one. No, i got to wait for that headwind again. And the kick is that, that it, it, there's no point whenever the wind is coming and you can see the wind lines coming down the valley and you can see the spruce boughs upstream popping and bouncing. There's no point in forcing this when that's happening because, you know, why put your fly in a tree? You just got to wait, wait for your time and it'll eventually come. The other thing I'm trying to do is wait to see this fish. I know he's risen twice since that refusal right underneath that uh, right underneath that spruce tree in and in against the roots there. So why not wait for it? You know, what else are you doing today? Fish, I'm just going to feed this line, love. Okay. That's got a chance. Oh, I was, I was downstream of him. Oh, 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 oh. He turned around and looked and refused again. Wow. Okay. I'd love to see him again. <laughs> tight. So I uh, decided to go with 5X to a size 16 elk hair caddis and I'm just going to take the end of the elk hair and I'm just going to splay it like that and we'll see it's either a fluttering caddis or it's a splayed egg laying caddis. That was a nice rise. Let's see if that works. I don't think so. I don't think he's going to be willing to come that far out. I'm about two feet shy. He's going to eat that I think though. No, he didn't. See, that upstream wind is taking that cast and going it that way. And it's not my friend right now. The wind's coming right around the corner like this. And I'm trying to just get that there. That's got a chance. Oh, big oh, refusal. Solid refusal. Good You're on him. Kidding. Good on him. So we're watching this guy. He started here. He's now just on the other side of that rock, moving upstream, feeding, popping, popping as he goes. And this is the question time. Do you chase this fish or do you just wait? And easily, easily, easily could double back and end up right here again. <laughs> so what do you, what, 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 how lucky do you feel with this? Um, he's refused me twice. I assume he's been caught the last day or two um, and or pressured or stuck the last couple days. And now he's just on the search during a light caddis event, looking for food. And he can easily, he could easily end up at the top end of that trough up by those sticks or immediately beside me here. So I just have to stand here and wait and see what's his pleasure. Well, that's the frustrating part about this kind of stuff. Um, originally the fish was rising right there and then decided, you know, you refused my caddis twice, of course. And I could just see him popping as he went up that bank. And then he got just in the side of that rock. And he started rising, rising, rising. And I thought, well, you either go after the fish and make decided casts at it. Or you wait for it to drop back down. Or wait for 45 minutes and nothing, none of that happens. So he took it, I took a risk. I got into the position to fish for him when he was up there. And, of course, that's when he dropped not even a rod length off my, off my left shoulder and fed. Water's murky enough that you can't see in here. So yeah, he did that and then a salmon fly went through and he absolutely went and smoked that. And he hasn't done anything since he smoked the salmon fly. And you know, you can sit here and wait, 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 but you know, did, he, did he eat the salmon fly and then not like something, see me while I was eating the salmon fly? No matter what, I tried a big beetle at him in that area. Uh, but yeah, no dice on that. So I think we'll forego that and we'll go find a fresh fish.
Ooh, where was that? That's that guy up there. It's a big, heavy fish, it sounds like. Nice. So, we'll get there. Right on the edge of this stuff. Crazy. Just feels like the water is just too high to play the pillow game, you know? Yeah. Or the, yeah, it's a good fish, eh? Really seriously, there might be two as well. Okay, so we got a fish upstream that's popping on caddis. It's, um, it's not being shy by any means, but there's been another fish back here that's risen a couple of times and that's about the best I can say. <laughs> and what I mean by back here, I mean somewhere in this, you know, 40 by 20 yard section of, of water. It's kind of, you know, kind of done nothing in our favor. So I'm just going to kind of work up. I know there's some submerged logs and sticks. And always done fairly well in through here. With some decent sized fish. It's just got rises and the bottom and the mud and sticks and logs. And these fish, well, the problem is these fish can be anywhere because they cruise and they don't just sit there. Yeah, wow. wicked. That's a good fish, eh? It is a nice fish. He just came up on it, eh? Yeah. He didn't want that beetle when I cast it in there. Okay, don't get on that net just yet, baby. Okay, almost on the reel. Now, good. And like I say, he rose twice. That was it, but he did rise twice. He's gonna, that's probably a 21 inch male, it looks like, maybe 22. It's getting bigger the closer it gets. I'll tell you that much. Let me tell you that, that's a big head upstream rising. Yeah, up an angle, keep him out of that, offset that, that's trouble. That's trouble, keep him off that log, keep him off, and right there, fold. Yep, round that log, around that log, around that log, and down. Okay, dare I? Dare I try to reel this in quick? There we go. Okie dokie. Now, the danger is across the way, that's the problem. So keep that low, 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 low. Keep it underneath that log, give yourself an out. And he wants that, eh? Feels like it should be a male just because of the head shaky shaky and look like a green head so okay, what are you doing bud he knows where those logs across the way are let me tell you angle down come on see the best thing for me to do is to get while he's doing that do this fold this way and try to pull him down to you unless he outruns you <laughs> it's like usain bolt trying to race a horse yeah the horse is still gonna win He's not going to want to lift there. He's going to kick and fold into the net. Nice fish. 21 inch male. Maybe 22, whatever, but just a gorgeous fish. <laughs> ah, happy to have that one. Yeah. Wicked. Yeah, it's a nice fish. Okay, so maybe it is 23, but skinny male, eh? beautiful. Okay. Yeah. Like now? Okay, so let's just do this. Nine, eighteen. Okay, so it's a two-foot fish. Okay, just a gorgeous. It turns out to be about a two-foot fish, eh? Absolutely gorgeous fish. Ah, oh, ah, that was awesome. Waiting that one out was really cool. Absolutely cool. You know, it's it's one of those cases where, again, yeah, I have fished this creek a lot. <laughs> and probably come through here. This section, we probably did 10 times a year for the last 25 years, just this section alone, but it's these logs. And you just gotta be patient. You gotta walk and watch and wait and be, you know, real slow. And while that's a skinnier spring fish, you know, that fish is gonna beef out on hoppers and you know, all those, <laughs> the salmon flies are coming. And there's a really nice fish rising upstream for Amelia. So no, it's just a gorgeous thing. You gotta wait it out. Um, he didn't want the beetle, but he sure as heck wanted my caddis.
Okay, so I'm going to be no, decisive. Go I'm just going to fish that up yeah. to that mud there because that's where that fish had risen. Um, we saw one rise and, well, it's bright and sunny. The only way that fish was there is because it's probably taken a caddis or a beetle uh, right along that shore. And it's not until it's about 25 yards, 30 yards above me. But the reason I stayed high was to try to see if I could see a fish coming along that bank and the answer is no okay so that's distance to there um it's funny because the amount of times we've been here during a hatch the fish are on this side right exactly so try that just nothing doing yeah, there's a rise right in the middle of the creek about 75 yards upstream in, oh, yeah. in the shade. So I'm just going to stick going at that fish that we saw rise. Perfect. Um, just along that side over there because I'm going to be decisive in going after the fish upstream potentially. And it was still up here, I think, in this mud. Oh, my eyes are forward. <laughs> they should be on my fly, but my eyes are certainly forward in this. And the wind is down, so that makes it nice. Okay, somewhere over there, that fish, this fish that I'm thinking of going, rose. And right now I'm looking, while I'm casting and walking, I'm really looking for any smudges, dark shapes, movement, yellow tails, anything that might be fishy to give itself away. Because it ain't rising because there ain't bugs. And if there ain't bugs, it ain't rising. Funny how that all kind of comes around and goes around. That was a terrible cast. The wind just picked up coming off that bank, of course. Now I have to up my line speed, pause, and try to get it over there. This is one of those banks that's just seriously a cruising bank for big fish. They don't have to station, they don't have to sit, they don't have to wait. They can just go up and down that bank, swimming at leisure. And we've done that so much through the years. And just because you saw it two minutes ago, well, it could be 30 yards up the bank by the time you get going at it. So that's why I'm just doing my thing. Just keep plunking. Okay. You ready? Let me know when you're rolling. Um, rolling okay, he's just across the way here. That's right on him. Nice. <laughs> I had to pause on that oh, hook set. Yeah. It was a right at me hook set. That was just a big shape cruising up that shoreline over there. And I just saw him at the last second. It was like, yeah, and then he came right at me. The take was right at me. I was like, oh crap, if I set that hook, I'm screwed. But if I wait too long, I'm screwed because it's a big male. And so no matter what, this could pop off. But he's a big fish. He's a gorgeous fish. That is awesome. Stunning fish. Crap, that's deep water right here too. Hop in, Dave. Yeah, I know. Look at this thing. Oh yeah, man. Let's see if I commit to this. If I commit, he's gonna do some weird funky stuff. But he's doing the alligator roll. Hey, come back here, come back here, come back here. Come back here. I'm in trouble. Ah oh, yeah. Come on, fish, come back. Not around that stick on the shore. Oh. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Okay. Oh man, this is where I want to be below him, but I don't dare. I don't dare keep. So this is where you want to almost kite him. He's got his mouth open, that big male. Just kite him, keep tension, keep tension. And he'll actually surf upstream. It's kind of like, <laughs> was it? Come on, 
Roll, roll. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he was glowing in the sun. Oh, that's gorgeous. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, when you're ready. Okay. Yeah, hey, Jeepers. Big skinny guys. Yeah, gorgeous, though. They're thin this year, hey, coming out of high water last year. Oh, yeah. Gorgeous. Nice. Wicked. Okay. Yeah? Anytime. Okay, go love. Yeah. Here we go. His head's just going to come up. Gorgeous. Oh, stunning. Yeah. yeah. What a fish. <laughs> yeah, man, when that fish, when that thing came up. <laughs> yeah, originally, as we were walking up, we were walking up on that bank there, and I saw a rise just off of this mud here, and just kept going upstream. I was like, we get there and there's nothing to see. I saw, I knew it was a good rise. And then as we got up a little further, about 15 yards above that, which is about the same amount of time a slow moving cruiser would take, and I just looked over and it was this pale kind of gold bar, and it was like, ha <laughs> And I put my fly like 18 inches upstream and he just came up but he turned out right at me and that big you, know, you saw that set of chompers on that fish and it was just that big white mouth like that coming at me and it was like okay this is instinct time i can't set i can't set i can't set set <laughs> and i was still waiting for that fly to come out eh oh, yeah. i was so Patience, waiting for it <laughs> eh? that's so excellent but you just yeah. did it beautifully it could have come out though you see the size of that mouth and the I whole know. fight that that fish was swimming like this even with my you know with that fly in the roof of his mouth he was swimming with his mouth open all the way from wow. over there as i was kiting him keeping a firm line and just letting him surf just kiting him in and it was yeah what a fish. Yeah. I'm so stoked for you. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> so it's fantastic this year. Um, last year, central Alberta was really high water. The rain really never quit. And there's a couple events where, you know, the, the grass, <laughs> the grass is, you know, the, in the lower part of that fence up there. And if I go like this, well, down to the creek, you know that's two rod lengths minimum from the t from the level of the creek up to where it was in the field last year and anytime you get prolonged floods you just get skinny fish and that's just how it was i mean that was high water for a long long time last last year so no doubt that these are thin fish um hoppers are coming brown drakes are coming hexes are coming uh, salmon flies are just arriving and beetles well they're coming too so you know we're in the start of the caddis so things are going to start and they will fatten up it's just the way of things and you know you just gotta you just gotta accept that there's there's skinny skinny periods for fish too you know if you had to run a marathon every week you'd you'd pretty much lose a lot of weight real quick so more evidence of uh crazy flooding with all these big logs right up on this bank because Dave's standing, you know, a good, again, probably two rod lengths above the bank. And yeah, it just ripped through here. And those are those logs. Crazy. Never were here before. So we've <laughs> yeah. heard a rise or two here and we've seen one that was kind of up again, um, right where there's a strip of sunbeam that goes right to the bank up up about maybe what is that 20 yards or so um but yeah we're trying to see where we see the next rise and it's my go at that point yeah i think you just want to if nothing else you should be able to also prospect just that shadow line all the way up yeah i wouldn't be too shy about it just getting on it that's true this is not the easiest bank really deep right below me so actually it's not too bad huh? i'll get down there Okay. Are you are you okay to roll? Oh, yeah. Cuz I'm going to just get a cast above this spruce if I can. I don't know where that rise came from specifically, so you know, again, I just had to get a cast in there. And we'll see, but I know he's in there somewhere. I'm going to need your eyes a bit, Dave, to see the rise. Well, just wait and listen. Yep. you got to wait five, ten minutes, it'll be it. Right? 
Yep. There. Oh, yeah. The right there. Yeah, I got it. Okay. Here we go. Oh, okay. He's further up. Here we go. Ready? Yeah. Wow. Where is he going to rise next? Come on. Shoot, that was on his head, I think. Okay. Going to go again. Has a chance where he last rose anyway. Gonna wow. Wait. Really? You're going to wait? Yeah, I am. Oh, he took it there. Good thing. Oh, 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 I got lucky there. He dropped right out. Oh, wow. 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 <laughs> Again, these fish are moving around a lot. Man, they're just sucking in, eh? Oh, no, 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 no. Not on the bank, not on the bank. Sideways pressure, Mills. Sideways pressure. Crazy. Wow. I haven't got a gauge at all of the size of this fish, but... Come on, surf you in. That is funny. It's, uh, it's not even 17. Yeah, it's funny because it sounded like 22 when it was rising. Wow, yep. <laughs> Yeah, so I wasn't really totally expecting that take. Um, I let my caddis drift down a little further because I didn't want to rip it out of the zone before I decided to cast again. And yeah, that fish had obviously dropped and you know decided just to take right where it did. Um, kind of crazy. Uh, like I felt like I'd had some great casts for where it had been rising. But again, a few, you know, little, little moments of randomness today because these fish are not stationed. They are just moving around and eating whatever caddis is actually on the water because there's not hordes on the water right now. That's the truth. Um, there's enough for us to obviously find brisers, but you know, just, just not hordes. So anyway, we'll move on to the next one. Yeah, no rush. Yeah, change lens and yeah. And this is changing lenses. Working in on this caddis eater in the shade. It's funny because you look at this creek and you go, there's no way a brown trout's gonna eat. Well, no, he's right there feeding right there. Yeah. in the shade. Find me shade, find me caddis, and find me rising fish. Funny how that works. <laughs> it, it, it ain't no secret. That's <laughs> caddis shade fish. Okay, so I've got the old size 14 elk hair caddis to the little 16 polywing caddis. And I'm just going to check my back cast. I'm going to take a step forward into the shade, set my feet a bit, and there he was rising. Right on him. Really. Geez, you'd think so. Look at that. Wow. Inches from my fly. Yep. He ate that one. He crushed that one. And he's going to go out and crush that one too. You'd think he'd want that trailer fly of mine. Yeah. yeah he took right the big on. one, eh? That was just rhythm and timing. That. Absolute rhythm and timing, that. Yep. He was dancing all over the place, and I didn't think it was this big, to be honest with you. Because he's bigger than 15. Perfect. <laughs> Go figure. Where are you? He's in my mud. Kind of just a perfect seam off the deflection of that corner. It is. But he absolutely crushed the bigger caddis, eh? Yeah. Come on. Turn. There we go. Bring him right back up this shoreline here. Get on him while he's in here. Yeah, he's a good fish, love. He's way bigger than I thought. I didn't have him this big. Hey, nope, look at that, that thing. 
when you're casting what you think is a 15 or 16 inch fish nice. and a 20 shows up that's that's Brilliant. okay too <laughs> yeah <laughs> wicked I, i'm okay with that Okay yeah, yeah, exactly. Hey, oh, that's yeah. probably 21 22 actually. Gorgeous. Just hang tight. Right there we go. That's a gorgeous fish. Gorgeous. Right in the corner there. Yeah. Okay, just show them all. Yeah. Beauty. Yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. Yep. Here. Right. Got blue and anytime love. Okay, here we go, love. Yeah, I don't Wicked. Woo! <laughs> no, it was really cool. 